Welcome to Bad Gear, the show about the world's most hated audio tools, Rack synthesizers. Great for crafting countless bangers of the 80s and 90s, not so great for your Instagram swag given the sharp edges, weird proportions and the only way to make them look fancy is by owning a lot of them. And I mean a lot. Today we are going to talk about the Yamaha TX81Z. After the release of the space-time continuum distorting DX7, Yamaha released a range of more or less exciting FM synthesizers. The 1987 TX81Z is, form factor aside, unique for two reasons. One of the most legendary synth presets of all time and a mysterious additional ingredient to the dark and twisted alchemy of FM. At the first glance, the TX81Z is ticking all the who put the crappy 80s reverb tin can in my synth rack boxes. FM synthesis is feared by many and vintage Yamaha synths like the TX certainly contributed to that reputation. 11 buttons and a tiny display are the main UI for crafting complex soundscapes. <laughs> Or, like most people did back in the day, just selecting one of the countless presets. E-pianos, organs, noisy drums, crude pads, rigid leads, and, of course, the one and only Lately Bass. This iconic sound was used on many successful records and is quite similar to the solid bass on Yamaha FMs like the DX100 or FB01. Although the TX81Z is a 4 operator synth, like the aforementioned instruments, there is a fundamental difference. While almost all other vintage FMs, even the OG DX7 are based on sine waves, the TX and its slightly more upscale keyboard version, the DX11, offer a set of 8 different waveforms that look like Yamaha Rubik cubed the digital lookup table. Sine. Matterhorn reflecting in water, half sign, full on Matterhorn, squeezed sign, squeezed Matterhorn plus reflection, speed bump sign, and squinting eyes while being drunk in the Alps. The rest of the synth engine is similar enough to be compatible with a DX21, 27, 100, but the result will sound different. Classic quirky DX style envelopes with enhanced resolution. An LFO. A nice MIDI pitch delay. Panning FX, chords, and a pseudo reverb based on a simple envelope tweak. There are no real FX though. Multi timbrality was hot in the 80s, and the meager 8 voice polyphony of the synth can be assigned to 8 parts and one of the two outputs in performance mode. The menus are mostly self explanatory if you already had the dubious pleasure of operating an 80s FM synth, and software editors are readily available. TX81Zs are easy to find, but not as cheap as they used to be, especially mint condition units with a two pull-out cards. The Yamaha TX81Z is an unpretentious 80s FM workhorse with a few tricks up its sleeve. Is it still relevant today and maybe even the ideal starting point for a rec synth collection? You have already heard the synth in today's intro tune, not the thickest sounding version to date. Let's start this out with some clean and family friendly lately bass and other factory presets fun.
If you are looking for the perfect sounds for a retro style side scrolling beat em up game, look no further. Lately Based is a great example of forum follows function and works in almost every mix, but most other presets are cute at best. Time to integrate the synth in a larger setup and program a sound with the extended range of waveforms. Experts among you will certainly be able to create deeper sounds, but in my experience the non-sine waveforms give sounds an even more digital flavor. Right off the bat, the synth isn't as accessible as, let's say, a DX100. Although the TX is mostly known for the lately preset, it is capable of producing a large variety of other bass sounds too. I wanna know if we can get rid of the cliché in this frequency modulated interdimensional man-machine gateway to a dark realm of ice-cold underground techno arenas. FM synths can be intimidating and the TX81Z is maybe the least inviting of the 80s Yamaha bunch. No knobs or sliders, no Hatsune Miku color scheme and those who appreciate the rec format most probably already have one. At the same time it is among the most versatile 4 operator vintage FMs and given its rich set of features, crunchy 80s converters and minimal space requirements it might be a keeper even when other old synths have to go. As an old school audio nerd, I totally love Rec Synths and I think the time has come for a big revival. Hopefully Instagram will soon introduce a new 19 inch friendly aspect ratio of 1 to 10.8. Thanks for watching and see you next time! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode, feel free to like, subscribe, become a patron and leave a comment what other kind of gear you would like to see and hear on the show.